everyone, I've got a project to share with you today. This is Love, Dream, Live and Giggle Family Key Cupboard. So I started with a plain wooden cupboard that I got from Calico Crafts um, here in the UK and I covered it in the Kaiser Craft Base Coat Release 2 paper. Um, I sort of mitered the edges, is that what it's called? To make those look neat and then I've done the top and then it sinks in a little bit. I've got it stood on a canvas at the moment so that I could show you the, the hanging at the bottom because obviously when it's on the wall it will hang. Then on the back side <laughs> I've used just this sheet of um, brick paper that I actually got from my local store from Hobbycraft. Then if I turn it, start on this side. So I have this piece of trim which is a vintage trim running all the way around the bottom and I got that from an Etsy store. Then I have the base coat release to paper, the wood grain with this sort of bluey green, which I've cut out on this side, and all the edges have been distressed with vintage photo. I have a small doily here, which I've distressed with vintage photo. And the piece of lace at the top here is um, from Lily Lineker uh, from Shabbylicious, and I tea dyed that. So that's that side. <coughs> Excuse me. And if I turn to the other side, same paper again with the same distress ink around the edge. Then and the same, oh push it back, the same uh, vintage lace around the bottom. Again, the vintage photo, the other half of the doily that I've used vintage photo on. And this is some more lace, three layers of lace that I again got on Etsy, and that was a vintage lace. And again at the top I've got a piece of this trim from uh, Shabalicious which I have again tea dyed. Then let me show you the top. Oh, Can you see that? The top is lined with the same paper. Then I have a piece of vintage doily running around. Then I have one of these uh, shabby rosette flowers and I learnt this from Gisela uh, at Lavish Laces. And in the centre of that I've got like a brick type of button, a brick print button which I thought went really well with the paper. Then I have this flower, this beautiful flower which is a prima flower and then right at the front there is this brown flower there. So then if we come back to the front, I'll talk you through the front. So I bought this on eBay and I've attached this here, had a little tiny wooden knob which I didn't like very much. Then I tea dyed this uh, which is also from Shabalicious. You all recognise these, of course, by Tim Holtz. And I've got Love, Dream, Live and Giggle. This is the same trim running around the bottom. Then I have this beautiful crochet doily and piece of app applique trim, which I got from Pat S. Sorry, <laughs> memory blank. So thank you, Pat. And I tea dyed both of those. Um, then I have a, a metal filigree here. There's another one under here, which is a bit hidden. A metal leaf from my stash. These are from my stash, these are from the US, um, Wild Orchid Crafts, Craft Supplies 1, Craft Supplies 1, Wild Orchid Crafts. This um, acrylic one here is from Wild Orchid Crafts. This sort of orangey brown one underneath is a Prima Flower. Then I have this key, because obviously it's a key box, and then the clock is a Recollections wooden clock. So that's the front, I'm really pleased with it. And then if I open it up, it's got a little magnet closure which came on it. And then if I open it up and try not to push it over because I'm balancing it on a canvas. So this is the inside. So again, I've lined all the inside and gone around all the edges with vintage photo. I've lined um, all down the little inside pieces. I've done the insides, I've done the sides and the bottom. So I have the distressed brick on this side. And on that side, I have like the distressed painted plastered brick. Then what I've done here is I have done um, a pocket so that we can keep sort of receipts and stuff in it. So along these wooden planks here, which weren't stuck in straight and that I couldn't remove, is where I need to just put these little hooks back. So these little tiny hooks here go on these along these wooden planks to hold the keys. So yeah, there's my finished project. I hope you like it. I'm really pleased with oh excuse me, really pleased with how well it turned out. Um, waiting for my husband now to put it up on the wall by the front door. Um, I'll insert some still photos now, and I hope everybody has a great day. Bye.